Hi, I'm Randy Reed, editor of the Edison Report, and we are here at the second edition of NY Controlled in New York City, and I am joined by Simon Slupik and Jim Seconder. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks, Randy. Of course, Jim and I are old competitors. Yes, we so are. So it's good to uh, sit down here uh, to he hear his friends. Tell our audience a little bit about Silver and what you do. So I like to talk about Silver in terms of um, how we benefit the marketplace. Okay. So Silver's main objective is to democratize the lighting control industry. And what I mean by that is we provide solution to uh, lighting fixture manufacturers um, and control system manufacturers uh, where we offload the heavy lifting in terms of software development, app development. So these guys can develop solutions, develop components uh, quickly, easily, and more cost efficiently and deploy network lighting controls into the marketplace. You're based in Poland, but you sell globally, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So Poland is our engineering center, uh, talented engineers there, very com committed. And, and the product is global because it's based on global standards. People don't see well, where we heard of about this. And, and that's my next question, so thank you for setting me up. Tell our audience about Bluetooth NLC. Yeah, so Bluetooth NLC officially launched a year ago. Um, it's the third layer of how Bluetooth delivers to lighting control. So it all started in 2010, Bluetooth Low Energy was just a radio, right. nothing else defined. So, um, you know, like a paper and pen. Many languages could be, uh, could grow on top of that. Then in 2017, we launched Bluetooth Mesh, which gave people the alphabet but not the language yet. Now, Bluetooth NLC is the full language, so actually okay. everybody can talk the same language and everybody understands everybody else. And that's how this global interoperability started to happen. Well, if I'm correct, I interviewed you, I believe, in, in 2017 in London at a show then called Lux Live. Yes. And I believe you told me you were part of that Bluetooth SIG. Is that right? Yes, so actually I serve two roles. One is the CTO of, of Silver, the other is I'm chairing the Bluetooth Mesh Working Group at Bluetooth SIG. Okay. So that also means that we contribute a lot of our R&D resources to develop the standard under the Bluetooth umbrella. Okay, so we're here at NY Controlled and it's mainly about lighting, but what's your thought about Bluetooth controls with HVAC and other systems? So, as you're probably aware, HVAC integration is a hot topic within the lighting industry right now. Um, there's two ways of thinking about integration, which is BACnet integration, which we've already kind of conquered, let's say, right. uh, as a lighting industry. And then there's device integration, where a, a device in a fixture is talking to maybe a thermostat or some other device directly, sharing information. Um, both will save a lot of energy. Uh, the device-device integration and Bluetooth NLC go hand in hand because that's a standard. It's a standard way of communicating. Uh, if everyone develops to Bluetooth NLC, those parts can talk to one another, share information, which is ultimately used to create more efficient uh, systems, including HVAC. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the show. This is your second year, of course, here. What's your thought of the show? The show for us is fantastic because we can get in front of um, decision makers at a different level than we normally do. So as a technology provider, we're, we're one or two steps away from decision makers always. Our, our partners are involved, they're talking to decision makers, uh, but we get them in front of us and uh, whether it's a specifier or a luminaire OEM, whatever the case, uh, we always learn something. And getting in front of those people in a venue like this um, is particularly helpful. Okay, excellent. Well, gentlemen, thank you for sitting down All with right, me. All right, man, thanks for inviting right. us.